Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. That 40-ish and $100 range of most of these are a lot less than that. And a good number of these you find at your local rack stores. The one I'm talking about today is a 2014 release. It's an Amber Fougere. It's been kind of forgotten about this line of fragrances. And I'm talking about Jacquois Bogart's Silver Scent Deep. These all... Uh, there's like five of them in the line. I'm not positive how many, but it's something like that, give or take one or two. And uh, they all have this same shape bottle. They just kind of vary in color. I think this is the only one that's a matte finish. All the rest of them are like semi-glossy to glossy. I like the blue coloration there. And the atomizer itself on these is notoriously terrible. It probably looks okay in the uh, camera, but it's really not. It's like it's like when you turn the hose on and it got that different settings. You got like the sprinkler and stuff like that. And one is like a fan. That's kind of what this thing does. It like sneezes that fan type of a, of a spray. So they totally uh, did not get it with the atomizer. But it's about the scent profile and not about the presentation, not about the atomizer. Those are just like good little uh, bonuses, I guess if they get that right. So I'm gonna go over most of the notes with you guys, some of the main players in this, let you know what I think about this fragrance overall, and if it's worth the $20 that I picked it up for. And uh, so yeah, in the top there is orange, there's orange blossom in the mid, there's sage, geranium, and nutmeg. In the base there is hazelnut, tonka bean, vanilla, there's woody notes, Really, what you get in this, mainly, up top, the little bit of orange that's there is sweet. It's just like the sweet aspects of the orange, like a honey bell or something like that. You're not really getting any of this citrusiness. If there is, it is very minute. You get a little bit, just a little bit, of the orange blossom in the mid. You get a little bit of that geranium. You're not getting a whole lot of florals in this. You're mainly getting the nutty, woody sweetness. The vanilla and the tonka bean kind of trump any of the sweetness that the orange gives it relatively quickly. And the nutmeg and the hazelnut plays a decent role. Not so much the nutmeg, it is there a little bit, giving it like a slight type of a cinnamony spice type thing, but the hazelnut is a bit more dominant in this. There's one thing that this one and Silver Scent Pure, I mean, they have a lot in common, this and Silver Scent Pure. But the one thing that really uh, kind of bothers me is there's some kind of synthetic dusty note in this that just doesn't vibe real well with me. Now, my overall rating on this will actually be a six and a half because I think it smells wonderful. It's a great smelling fragrance. It's extremely versatile, except for temperature. If the mercury goes over 82, this is gonna be a bit sweet. It's gonna be a bit loud, a bit sweet, a bit thick, a bit creamy. So I wouldn't reach for this when the temperature rises. But anything besides that, this thing is a green light. Date, casual, whatever. Not the gym, because temperature's gonna rise in the gym. But anything else, even the office, like two squirts, you're good in the office. I pulled a lot of compliments with this thing. And uh, I didn't think I would. I was like, yeah, it smells pretty good. And people are like, wow, that smells great, whatever you're wearing. So maybe because it's so loud, I don't know. But they have that dusty thing. And that's the only reason why I don't go to a seven on my scale. Now the performance on this is good. I get every bit of seven and a half hours. Most people I think get like 10 plus, but I chill around seven and a half. Same thing with the other one, Silver Scent Pure. I don't have any of the other ones in this line, but I have those two. These are um, also notoriously known for smelling kind of like um, <laughs> um, grape soda, which uh, it's not too uh, inaccurate. It does have a grape soda vibe, like a nutty, uh, creamy grape soda vibe, just a little bit. So I understand what people are saying when they say that. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, it's a little bit more mature I mean, a little bit more youthful than it is mature because it's quite sweet, quite playful, pretty loud, good performance, good all year round except for the high heat, good for date, good for casual, it's just a decent fragrance. And if you don't know about these Silver Scents, um, Silver Scent Pure is a decent one to, to test the waters with because it's fresher, probably a little bit less in offensive than any of the other ones. but. 
this one's not real offensive. It's a it's a good smelling fragrance. So yeah, if you haven't checked out any of them, they're definitely worth looking into. So uh, that's my final thoughts on Silver Scent Deep. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.